my sunshine, my sunshine, you're my sunshine. Wake in the morning, open my eyes, sunshine on my face, beautiful skies. You're next to me, laying in bed, not just the visions inside of my head. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Wedding Wednesday. So today, we're going to talk about the peace de resistance, the cake choosing the cake okay and like everything else the cake goes with the theme the cake goes with the venue the cake goes with your dress the cake size and height and everything depends on your wedding it depends on if you're having a backyard wedding a beach wedding a hall whatever it is a rooftop the cake fits scene with whatever your style is. You're not going to have a backyard barbecue wedding with um, a cake that has like six tiers or eight tiers. It's unnecessary. And the color of the cake, the style of the cake goes with your team. You can match with your bouquet. Um, if you're having a beach wedding, you may want to decorate the cake with, you know, shells and so on um sugar sugar flowers like but not flowers like cactus and stuff of that nature my apologies my brain went blank for a second i don't mean cactus i mean corals like corals and shells and stuff of that nature and you may want the cake in blue with blues with greens with lavender and stuff like that or peach with a lot of corals on it or whatever if it goes with the color of your bouquet and your decor and everything else and a little tip the best way to save money on your cake is to have a cup of dummy cake so if you have want to have four cakes or six cakes or whatever just for the look of it because you're having a big banquet hall and a little two-tier cake is gonna look you know really tacky in the space with the table and everything else you get styrofoam and you get the cake decorator to decorate the cake in styrofoam so you have like um you have six cakes for instance each alternating cake is a dummy cake okay if you have four cakes you have a real cake to the bottom you have a dummy cake in the center you have a real cake above that you have a dummy cake to the top when you're sticking the cake try to keep in mind which cake is the dummy cake so you will be cutting the styrofoam okay just trying to help you out if you're on a budget and another thing, if you only have a couple of cakes and you want to save like one for your one year anniversary, you're going to put it in the freezer. I apologize if you heard the siren. There's nothing I could do. Okay. So, obviously, um, in most cases, people put away the top tier of the cake for their um, one year anniversary. So, if you're only having two cakes, it would be a good idea for you to have... Um, cupcakes or individual slices of cakes out of a, a whole other cake um, for your guests in, on each table you know depend on the setting how many at the table or whatnot um, you have a cupcake or you have a slice of cake and a little box with the dates and you know ribbon matching with the colors of your team so on. so if for instance you're having a wedding and you're wearing like white and your bouquet has pink and lemon and peach and whatever you could have the cake with all those separate colors or if um the bridesmaid bouquets are all those flowers and then your bouquet is just one color you might want your cake with just the blue or the pink or the yellow or the peach or whatever color your bouquet is you know and to go also with the table decor and so on and another tip if, for instance, you like vanilla and then, like, the bride likes vanilla but the groom likes chocolate, you could have a vanilla cake and a chocolate cake. And then when you're cutting the cake, you cut a slice of one cake. Especially if you you could um, also put 
two cakes into one cake in the sense of they bake two separate cakes they put one on top of the other they frost it so when you cut it you're gonna get a piece of each and you feed him the chocolate and you eat he feeds you the vanilla you know you know what I mean so everybody could have what they want so there's no conflict why well, I gotta choose this type of cake or that type type of cake everybody could have what they want so choose your cake wisely go to whatever is your bakery or whatever of choice and for the most part they would have cake tasting and you would taste the various types of cake and you will finally decide between you both of you which cake is best or as I said if you want to have both cakes into either one cake or if you have two separate cakes one is one flavor one is the other flavor but I think it's better to have the two separate flavors so two separate thin cakes one on top of the other and frosted on each cake so when you're cutting you're just cutting into one cake and you're getting the two different flavors you know what I mean and there'll be icing between it and you just separate the flavors to share it out to the bridal mm. and then you also have to take into consideration do you want um, sugar flowers that are very you know hard do you want soft frosting you have to think about all of that the flavor of the cake the flavor of the frosting do you want um for instance red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting and then the groom wants a chocolate cake with vanilla frosting how are we gonna work this out okay so you gotta compromise and please shop around because a lot of times um soon as someone hears you know as i say in previous videos soon as they hears for a wedding they automatically hear dollar signs so shop around for the best you know prices you could get and um to the exact style that you want don't settle there are a few important moments in your life but your wedding day is like up there a scale so you want your cake just like you want everything else to be perfect most of the time there's no do-overs so you want that day to be the best that it could be so shop around make sure you have you know you get um what you want in the style that you want in the color that you want um, the you know flavors that you want so it means you may have to shop around and in the end you might end up getting a cake from a location that is not close with by everything you want or in some cases you get everything you want but the price is so exorbitant so you have to kind of you know you might have to go elsewhere it might be a further distance but you know you might save a coin or two and you get exactly what you want so you have to start thinking also early up about your tablescape and your cake and um you know your table decor um and the party flavor party favors whatever but that will be another video but just to put it in your head that everything has to kind of be cohesive so when you're thinking about your cake, you could also be thinking about your party favors and the table settings, um, you know, the decorations for the cake table, if it's not exactly the same as the other tables, but they have to kind of mesh. They don't have to be matchy-matchy perfect, but they have to blend so you don't see, like, a bright green cake, and then you have, like, orange or peach as your other tables. You know what I mean? So you have to think about everything in its entirety and how everything is going to kind of go together and blend together. As I said, not perfect match, but still go with each other. Colors that complement each other, like for instance, lemon and purple, you know, and so on. Pink and gray, peach and ivory, just to name a few. So, um... You know, and there are other colors that goes with that. So you could have like um, the cake could be lemon and then um, let's say with lavender and then your tables, tablecloth could also be for the for the um, guest tables could also be lavender with yellow flowers or whatever. And maybe a touch of mint or whatever, but colors that kind of complement each other. So you're not going like of the deep end looking like some wild Mardi Gras party you know what I mean unless that's the look you're going for so start discussing flavors styles um, 
you know, and so on. Type how many how many cakes you think you want, and what are the sizes of the table? What's the size of the venue? Because if you have a small venue with only a few guests, uh, you know, a big cake that has eight tiers or something is a bit much. And then again, if you're having a venue with 500 people and large tables, and then the cake table is really huge and you have all these decorations on it to go with whatever the team is, then the big cake would make sense. You know what I mean? And as I say, you could get a few dummy cakes just to help to get the look without the price. And if you're having a small intimate wedding, like my people who are getting married in City Hall or a weekday in the church and you just have maybe four four guests or just the two witnesses or whatever, go to the bakery, get a cake. Don't necessarily say it's a wedding cake. Just get a cake. Uh, tell them you just want like a blue and white cake or pink and white cake or whatever with some flowers on it or whatnot. And then, you know, you can take it home and go get a bride and groom and put on top of it boom because from the time you say you want a wedding cake that's a whole story okay so just get a regular cake if you can't make a cake yourself get a regular cake or you could go to the supermarket and buy a cake that's already made in whatever color in the supermarket in the supermarket also you could order a cake and say well i want a cake for next wednesday in blue and white or green and white or whatever and if they ask if you want some piped on the top like happy birthday blah 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 um you could say if you wanna but if you just want to decorate the cake with flowers and a bride and groom, then you could just get a plain cake that's white or whatnot. And then you could get flowers from the 99 cent store or fresh flowers and decorate your cake in a, in a halo with the bride and groom in the center or whatnot. Or, or flowers on the four corners of the cake or whatever. Or flowers cascading from the cake coming down, you know, on the side from the top coming down in like a half a moon shape or whatever. And then going around on the side, whatnot. But anything that you could get to save a coin, especially if you're having an intimate wedding, do the best you can do. Okay? So that's all I'm going to say today. So look forward to the next video. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Smooches. Ain't no question. To you I belong. And baby, you know that my love is strong. You're the hot chocolate, and I'll be your cup. Come here, my darling. Please fill me up. Mm -hmm.